Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Carmine Sabia here for Explain America. We have a big story today about Jesse Waters, Tucker Carlson, and who Jesse Waters wanted fired from the network. And, well, he kind of got his wish, in a way. Folks, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those things are really important to help our channel grow and to get our conservative message out to the masses especially in a day and age when even some of our favorite networks are silencing voices that dare to speak the truth. Folks, Jesse Waters had a text exchange with Tucker Carlson. Now, this text exchange somehow got leaked to a left-wing news outlet, and it was published. But what Jesse Waters said it was kind of like what a lot of us were thinking. It wasn't so bad. I don't think there's anything really damaging in it. Jesse Waters talked to Tucker Carlson about the coverage that two particular anchors were giving on the Fox News channel, and he felt that it could damage the network. Well, Tucker agreed with him. In fact, Tucker said, I would go somewhere else if I could, but I'm probably going to die here, meaning at Fox News. Now, as it turns out later on down the road, Fox gave him the axe because he wasn't towing their line. But what happened was Jesse Waters wanted Chris Wallace and your world host, Neil Cavuto, to get fired. He was tired of the anti-Trump rhetoric from them. And what he said was, we really need to get rid of them and bring on new Trump people. And I'm not saying verbatim what he said. I'm paraphrasing. I'm not going to read the man's private text messages. You know, that's something that a news outlet would do that, you know, I don't know, wanted to publish them. And I, I think it's an invasion of privacy. However, because in the interest of journalism, we have to, we did post it in our story on it, and you'll see that story posted in the top of the comments here. So if you want to actually read the text message exchange, you can click on that story. But the gist is he wanted Wallace and Cavuto gone. Now, he got half his wish. Wallace was gone. I, and nobody knows to this day if it was a mutual parting, if Wallace left, if he was fired. Fox and Chris, they kind of kept that pretty vague. But... The fact remains that Waters was correct. He was correct in what he was saying. People were tired. How tired were you of hearing Chris Wallace and Neil Cavuto every day? And what he said was, and, and Tucker agreed, we have to bring on some pro-Trump people. And, and I find it interesting because in one vein, these liberal news organizations are saying, well, Tucker hated Trump. But when you read Tucker's private messages, they're showing a guy who wants the network to gear more towards pro-Trump coverage. So which one is it? I mean, you can't have both. Are there times where Tucker maybe was frustrated with some of the things Trump was saying? I think a lot of conservatives can get frustrated with Trump sometimes, myself included. Sometimes he says things and you just go, why do he say that, you know? Not because you disagree with him so much as you know you now have to defend it and you know that it's going to be taken out of context and you know people are going to twist his words and you would just, you know, kind of want him sometimes to rein it in and be more careful about what he says. At least I do sometimes. You may not feel that way. The point here, though, is that I think Tucker and Waters were correct. There was way too much anti-Trump bias on the network. I think there still is a lot today. And I think that, you know, when most of your audience, and that's what Jesse and Tucker talked about, their core audience, us, you know, when your core audience really is fans of this guy, why would you bring on anchors to insult them? And then you fire Tucker Carlson, an anchor everybody loves. You know, sometimes it feels like Fox News is just smacking us in the face. That's why this independent media, what we do here, it is so important. It's why I ask you so much to like, comment, share, and subscribe, because we need your support. Because you guys are our boss. We're not beholden to any corporate sponsors. That's very important, and it's how we keep going. So I'm going to ask you again to do that. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.